Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to pip install in Visual Studio Code. So, it is pretty simple to use this command of pip install in Python. So, first of all guys, I will need you to install Visual Studio Code first. So, how you can do that, just go to your browser, go to codevisualstudio.com or you can just go to your browser again, search for Visual Studio Code and guys, please, one more time don't make mistake between this logo and the other one this logo is for the logo the, of the software that you are using now which is visual studio code and the other one which is for the visual studio now let's go back over here and as you can see this is the website so download for windows and here you'll find for mac os and linux x64 now how we can actually do the uh pip install so while you're installing first this software you will have the option to select languages so make sure that you have selected python as your language and then let's go to here so if you didn't install it i will show you how to install it go to extensions and from here search for python so it is pretty simple guys and click on install and if you didn't have the section you only need to click on Control shift x and it will be opened so here you can see it is installed on my pc now all i'm going to do is create a new folder file so here it goes and let me name it something like tutorial dot py which is python as you can see this is the file now what i'm going to do is basically open the terminal so here we go new terminal and here i'm going to do is simply just go here and let me just fix that so here it goes and as you can see only need to do is pip install and next to it you only have to add whatever thing you want to install and to make sure that is correctly uh, written you will see that pip is actually written in different color than other words so yeah guys that's basically it that's how we can actually use the pip install command in visual studio code so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial